de la World me vine a liberar tortugas con los chicos de los tours liberando tortugas y estamos en la playa boca negra o boca de tomates boca de tomates y la idea es hablarles un poquito sobre la conservación de las tortugas porque son animales que están en peligro de extinción y porque muchas personas no saben que hay que conservarlas Ya no hay tanta gente, entonces aquí podemos empezar Principalmente con una introducción acerca del programa Súper ¿Cuál es la especie de tortugas que vamos a liberar? Tortuga golfina Golfina aquí En es. Colombia también tenemos este tipo de programas Pero con otra especie de tortugas ¿Otra especie? Sí, dependiendo del país es la especie que se trabaja Aquí trabajamos con cuatro especies de tortugas Pero la más común es la de tortuga golfina Porque esta la tenemos todos los días Cute. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Eduardo. I'm going to be your host today for the Tortugas Experience. I think all of you come here today to learn about tortugas, right? And, and uh, uh, learn about how we work protecting tortugas here. Where we are? We are off. Give me a second, por favor. Give me a second. airport right here so close right so this is the airport and next to the airport there's a natural reserve which it calls Boca Negra or Boca de Tomates what do you want to mean it's a natural a natural reserve no tilts no lights no people right starting from here I always like to start this experience with one simple question okay have you ever seen a sea turtle before raise your hand if you do mostly all the group today okay I'm gonna start from here where a zoo, it's important to Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Maui. Maui, Hawaii. Hawaii. Puerto Rico. Australia. Australia. Okay. Hawaii. Nunca. Never. A zoo, that's important. Hawaii. 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 So that means we have turtles around the world. Around the world, guys, it's six, seven species of sea turtles. Mexico received six of seven species in the world, and Puerto Vallarta received four of seven in the world. So that means Puerto Vallarta is an important area for sea turtle conservation. Leatherback, the biggest turtle in the world, 2.5 meters big sometimes. Yeah. Haxbill, Tortuga Care, the most beautiful shell. Yeah. Pacific Black Turtle, the most beautiful baby sea turtle. Probably the, all the photos that you saw before, this turtle was the one that we, they were using. And the last one, Okay. Okay. Olive Ridley, Olive Ridley or Tortuga Golfina in Espanol. Olive Ridley is start to come here in May to February. This is the high season when we see this turtle every single day. Just imagine yourself walking every single night along this beach, five kilometers. Used to go to look and collect the eggs. Okay. But why? Do you have any idea why? We go out to collect the eggs. Raise your hand, por favor. People steal the eggs, exactly. Other animals eat them. <laughs> Other animals. Predators. All your answers are good. Vale? So that means it's endangered species. All the, all, all the sea turtles around the world are endangered. What means this? That could disappear in the next years if we stop to protect them. So for that reason, in Puerto Vallarta, we work like this. We have one main turtle camp, Campamento Tortuguero Boca de Tomates. This is the main camp in Puerto Vallarta. Another hatching area where are the white buildings over there and another hatching area close to Los Muertos, no one hotel. Okay? Mostly all the people that come to Puerto Vallarta, to visit Puerto Vallarta, are tourists, right? It's a tourist city. Where are you from? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, Utah, Chicago. Chicago. Chicos, ¿son de aquí? Oh, pero ahora viven aquí. Excelente. Canadá. Colombia. Colombia. San Francisco. So, what happens when tourists see a sea turtle at the beach? It's amazing, right? What you do if you see a sea turtle at this moment? 
Take it alone. Photo. Take a photo. 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 Run and touch it. Run and touch it? <laughs> maybe. It's a perfect answer. No way. Touch it. Maybe to take a photo. Take a photo. Maybe. Pick it up maybe to show to the kids. No, never. Guys, remember, it's endangered species, so that means it's protected for the Mexican government. So what can I do if I see a sea turtle at the beach here in Puerto Vallarta? Main thing, we need to keep a limit distance, okay? 10 meters away. Okay? Why? Because turtles only come out to lay eggs. It's like a woman boarding a baby. You're boarding a baby, you don't like strange people around you, right? <laughs> Taking photos. Right? Same situation, okay? Also, obviously, if we need to keep a limit distance, I can touch the turtle, I can pick it up, I can take it home, I can ride the turtle. Don't harm, so take your... Qué bonito sol. What a beautiful sunset. Can we take a picture? Take a picture? Sí, claro. Of course. Flash off. Yeah. All the time. Where are those ones from? Ocean. No, they were from the back and they collected them this morning. They hatched from these nests right here. This is so small. This one. Olive Ridley, baby turtles, everybody. Oh, no, that one needs help. Oh, a normal. Get Much better. <laughs> Olive Ridley baby turtles. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Please. Here we go. Ready to swim. Ready to swim. She's already prepared. Okay. So, whose baby is hatching in the morning? Vale, mm -hmm. as I told you before, we can keep them oh, more no, than 12 hours, time. everybody. Okay. So, right here. You can see a difference of the of the, of the size when they are babies and when they are big. Okay, Ooh. 12 years is the time that take for them to get this size. So, uh, 12 years. 12 years to get to grow up like this. Just imagine that. So, turtles have a pig like birds to feed. They don't have teeth. Okay, everybody can see it. And can you see where is the neck that she's breathing? They have lumps to breathe. They live in the ocean, but they have lumps. So that means they go to the surface to breathe all the time. Len, Eduardo, when you have them here, you feed them? No, we never feed them. Why? Because they don't need it. They have an energy natural reserve, which is called vitello, or vitellum. This energy reserve, it comes from the jaw and from the umbilical, like the umbilical cord, okay? Can you see that point in the middle of the belly? Yeah. On the tummy? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Like a belly button. That's the, be that's the vitello. It's the energy, the energy reserve that they have the first 12 hours after they hatch. Everybody can see the point in the middle? Oh, yeah. That one. Okay, so we don't need to feed them. They have enough. For that reason, they are so active when they hatch. Okay? <clears throat> You are so lucky because you are 22 people in total. <laughs> Only 22 people. Turtles hatch today. Oh but that means each turtle for one people per person. In this program, we have a big problem. Poaching. Poachers. Okay? Do you have any idea why poachers steal the eggs? Somebody yeah. say to eat them. To sell them. There's old myths about the eggs. Okay? Old myths that come from old cultures, which, which it says that the eggs are aphrodisiac, like oysters. No, it's not true. The one thing that is true about the eggs is that it has 10 times more cholesterol than chicken eggs. That's true. Okay? It's oily and it's not healthy for your heart. The best thing that you can do, you see a sea turtle, guys, is report it. Report it to police. Vale? After you report it, the police, we, we call the closer turtle camp along the bay where you saw the turtle. Remember, three areas. So I'm going to show you an example, guys, about how to find and collect the nest. Okay? Are you ready? Yes. Venga, Santos. Gracias. All the people are from my group. Huh? All of them are my group, yeah. Okay. Yep, all of them. Make sure. I remember all the faces. Okay. Sí. If you have a coconut, go on and step to this one.
hermosa. Pensar que veía a lo mejor una. Nomás una. Una Imagínate. sobrevive. O tal vez ninguna de estas. No. Sí, se los comen. Excelente. ¿Lista? Sí. Préstame esta para que vos es bien con tu gusto. Listo. Muéstrala un poquito más para conmigo. Ahí está. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Ready? Name and a wish for your turtle. Name and a wish. What are you gonna name it? Name and a wish. Name and a wish. She is Lowry and she will survive. Mine's coming. There you go. There you go. There you go. Bye, little one. So, yeah, and also, when any of you step back after you have your photo. Mine is going sideways. He's actually going to the sunset, so he's going the right way. That's everything, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.